There are approximately 8.7 million species of animals on planet Earth, but there are certain creatures that we will probably never see in our whole life. Yet some of these curious critters are seriously camera shy, and others are so rare that only a handful still exist in the wild. We're talking about the most elusive and secretive species in the world. From a mysterious porpoise that has got itself tangled up in the shadowy world of animal smuggling, to the antelope that was nearly wiped off the face of the earth by a deadly disease. These are the 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Tasmanian Tiger Presumed extinct after the last one died in captivity back in 1936, there are rumors that this mysterious predator might still be lurking in the mountains of mainland Australia and the island of Tasmania. Yep, recent sightings describe a creature bigger than a fox but smaller than a German shepherd, with stripes all the way down its back, a profile that matches the apparently extinct Tasmanian tiger. This strange creature was said to have survived on a diet of birds and wallabies, with a skill like a dog and a pouch for its young, just like a kangaroo. Spotted by various hikers, there have been at least eight sightings of this large carnivorous marsupial, also known as the thylacine, and evidence of footprints have even been found. Very close, very close in size, the claws, but the pad here. Could the Tasmanian tiger really still be alive after all this time? Well, it certainly seems that way. There have been reports that scientists at the Australian Museum even managed to replicate thylacine DNA in 2002, which means Tasmanian tiger cloning may be a possibility. So has this rare tiger been in hiding for almost 100 years? Or did humans have a hand in bringing the thylacine back to life? Without hard evidence, we may never know. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our missing topic. But what on earth is this demonic creature? This creepy image will give us nightmares, whether it's in real life or just a crafty hoax. Yet some people believe that this could be proof of the elusive Mongolian death worm, a never before seen beast that is rumored to exist in the Gobi Desert. This worm-like creature is said to grow up to three feet long with spikes at both ends living deep below the sand dunes. Many people have tried to find it over the years to no avail. Ancient legend states that it kills its prey using a stream of venom that is deadly to anything it touches, as well as being able to electrocute its victims from afar. Yikes! While this freaky photo may not be actual evidence of the Mongolian death worm's existence, it's definitely still enough to deter us from ever stepping foot in the Gobi Desert. So what do you guys make of this spooky cryptid? Let us know in the comments below using the hashtag MissingTopic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Sumatran Rhino This mighty rhino once used to roam all over Southeast Asia, but now they can only be found in remote regions of Indonesia. Yeah, the two-horned Sumatran rhinoceros is the most endangered of their species, and it's estimated that there are less than 100 still remaining in the wild. Significantly smaller than their African cousins, this endangered species is one of a kind. Unfortunately, their horns are thought to have a healing property in Chinese medicine and collected as ornaments throughout the Middle East, leading to illegal poaching and smuggling on the black market. Will the beautiful Sumatran rhino survive? We sure hope so. <laughs> Hainan Gibbon there are a whopping 504 species of primate, but the Hainan gibbon is the rarest and most dangerous of them all. Yet, there are only about 25 of these creatures left in the wild, all of which live on one island on the southern tip of China. Sadly, their population has declined drastically over the last 50 years, and it's thought that maybe as many as 2,000 gibbons may have lived in Hainan Island in the 1950s. Today, it isn't just the rarest primate in the world, but also the rarest mammal. In fact, its gene pool is now so small, experts are worried that the species will never recover. This graceful creature once swung freely through the rainforest. Known for their haunting songs that they would sing to attract mates, warn others away, and even to bond as a family. But with the threat of the deforestation and poaching, these mysterious melodies may never be heard again. 
Margay. This small cat is also known as the tree ocelot due to the amount of time it spends hanging out in the treetops of northern Mexico, Central America, South America, but this rare feline is yet another animal facing the danger of deforestation in areas like the Amazon rainforest. The cute and fluffy margay can even be spotted hanging by its feet from high branches and it snoozes in nests built in the treetops. Hiding amongst the canopy, margays tend to avoid people at all costs and they have a good reason to stay out of sight. It's estimated that as many as 14,000 margays are hunted each year for their fur and they're also illegally captured for the exotic pet trade. This adorable creature might be the cutest wild animal we never knew existed. We just hope that it survives against the odds to play in the treetops for many years to come. <laughs> raccoon Dog This fluffy critter might look identical to a raccoon, but it's actually a member of the Canidae family, which includes foxes and wolves amongst its ranks. Yeah, we bet you never knew there was an animal that crossed a raccoon with a wolf. Imagine finding one of these trawling through your trash can. With sharp claws and versatile paws which allow them to catch their prey and climb trees, this bizarre yet familiar creature can be found in East Asia. They're also known in Japanese folklore as the tanuki, and statues of the raccoon dog are said to be lucky and are often placed in the entrance of shops and restaurants for good fortune. However, it's somewhat ironic that the raccoon dog doesn't seem to be particularly lucky itself, as its population is plummeting. The fur industry prizes the raccoon dog's thick, shaggy coat, and many of these defenseless dogs are captured every year to make jackets, gloves, and other garments. This wild animal is becoming rarer and rarer, and if we don't try to save the tanuki soon, we may only get to spot them in the form of a lucky stone statue. <laughs> <laughs> Vaquita They were only named for the first time in 1958. This mysterious porpoise is already on the brink of extinction less than 100 years later. The vaquita is the rarest marine mammal in the world and in 2016 it was estimated that there are only 30 left in existence, with some experts claiming the number could be closer to 20. The word vaquita actually means little cow in Spanish and these small stumpy creatures measure about 5 feet long and weigh around 100 pounds, making them the smallest porpoise in the world. They can only be found in the northern gulf of California between Baja and mainland Mexico. So why are there so few vaquitas in our oceans? Well, tragically, they share waters with the rare and enigmatic totoboa fish, which are hunted for their valuable medicinal bladders. Yet, the totoboa bladder is illegally smuggled over the U.S. border and sold overseas in China, where it can be sold for $8,500 per kilo. And sadly, the same nets that catch these expensive fish can also accidentally catch the vaquita porpoise, diminishing their already tiny population. Scientists even tried building a high-tech sea enclosure to try and keep them captive in the hope that they could reproduce in safety. But the stress of living in captivity only made matters worse for the vaquita. Will this rare porpoise bounce back? Only time will tell. Ardwolf Indigenous to South Africa, this nocturnal beast is rarely seen. Emerging from their underground burrows only at night, the mysterious Ardwolf might appear to be a strange cross between a wolf and an aardvark, but it's actually a member of the hyena family. They can be recognized by the dark vertical stripes on their torso as well as a long mane of hair across the hair that they can make stand on end in an effort to make themselves appear larger than they actually are. The word aardwolf actually means earth wolf in the African's language. Just like aardvarks, this rare creature only eats termites, licking them up with a long sticky tongue. They've even been known to eat as many as 300,000 termites in a single night and over 100 million insects in a year. Now, that's what we call binge eating. <laughs> Quail. This tiny carnivorous marsupial is known as the baby-faced assassin. The rare quail once lived in Australia before it was wiped out by invasive species like feral cats and poisonous toads. They can now only be found in Tasmania in an island sanctuaries dedicated to preserving their bushy-tailed species. Kept in captivity, safe from hungry predators on the hunt for a quick snack, 
The quail thrived for several generations. However, reintroducing the quail back into the wild proved to be disastrous. After a decade in paradise, this cute little critter had forgotten all about its fears of dangerous predators, and they were promptly gobbled up by ravenous dingoes. Yet, it's actually possible for animals to lose their instinct to avoid predators while in isolation. And tragically for the quail, their idyllic island existence turned out to be their downfall. <laughs> Chan's Megastick At a simply staggering 22 inches long, this creepy crawly is the longest stick insect in the world, and despite its awesome size, it's actually one of the rarest critters on the planet. Yeah, this incredible insect had gone totally unnoticed until the 1990s, when it was discovered deep in the rainforest of Borneo. It was found by a local villager and passed on to the naturalist Datuk Chan Chulun, and that's why they call it Chan's Megastick. This is one mega stick insect after all. Living high up in the treetops, they're almost impossible to find, and almost nothing is known about this oversized insect. One thing the scientists did discover, however, is that Chan's mega stick eggs are quite unique in the animal kingdom. That's because they resemble the golden snitch, the famous Quidditch ball from the Harry Potter universe. Yeah, these unusual eggs have wings on either side, allowing them to be carried away by the wind so their young can find a new tree to live on reducing the competition for food. Wow, that's some tough parenting. The less mouths to feed, the better when it comes to Chan's mega stick. Northern Bald Ibis. These rare regal birds once roosted across Europe, but now they can only be seen in Morocco and Syria. This critically endangered bird was once worshipped by the ancient Egyptians, and hieroglyphs depicting their long curved beak and bald naked heads can be found etched into the walls of buildings that are thousands of years old. However, in the modern day, this eccentric feathered creature now faces extinction, with less than 1,000 northern bald ibises left in the wild. Wildlife experts are now trying to reintroduce them to Europe, and they are even using ultralight aircraft in a last-ditch attempt to guide them towards the Mediterranean. Maybe one day soon, this bizarre bird won't be such a rare sight at all. <laughs> Philippine Eagle The monkey-eating eagle is one of the largest birds of prey in the world, but even sheer size can't save this rare species. This spectacular eagle has been on the brink of extinction for decades and can only be found in certain parts of the Philippines. Extreme measures were taken when officials named the eagle the National Bird of the Philippines in order to raise awareness of its endangered status, and anyone found hunting this critically endangered bird could be sentenced to 12 years in prison. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this bird of prey. The monkey-eating eagle can grow to be 3 feet long, with a wingspan of 7 feet. Sure, they may be named after their unusual appetite for monkeys, but they definitely aren't fussy eaters. They'll snatch up anything of creatures from small to large monitor lizards. Let's just hope they don't start going for us. Hyrola This rare antelope is the last of its kind, the only surviving member of the Beatrigus genus. This horned African creature is the most endangered antelope on the planet. Found only in northeast Kenya and southwest Somalia, there are only 500 Hyrola left in the wild and none in captivity. And if you're lucky enough to ever see one, you'll know it's the super rare Hyrola. That's because this peculiar animal has a very unique appearance. Yet yeah, this animal looks as though it has four eyes, thanks to the massive preorbital glands underneath their actual eyes. This optical illusion has led to the Hyrola being known as the four-eyed antelope. So why exactly are they so rare? Well, it's all down to a devastating disease called Rinderpest that tore through their population in the 1980s, killing around 85 to 95 percent of their population. Before the outbreak, there were as many as 15,000 Hyrola, but today they are numbered in the hundreds. Is there a future in sight for the four-eyed antelope? <laughs> Baluchistan Pygmy Jerboa Native to Pakistan and Afghanistan, this wild animal has rarely ever been seen. Yep, blink and you might miss this tiny critter. Measuring just under 2 inches in length and weighing under an ounce, the Baluchistan Pygmy Jerboa is the smallest rodent in the world, and possibly the cutest too. This little ball of fluff has long hind legs with shorter front legs, allowing it to hop around like a miniature kangaroo. 
In fact, it can jump twice its own length, and when under threat, it's even been known to leap a whopping 10 feet. Whoa, check out the bounce on this Jaboa. Cross River Gorilla The elusive Cross River Gorilla is Africa's most endangered great ape, and it's thought that only 200 to 300 of these breathtaking primates are still in existence. Residing over an area of 3,000 square miles in the mountains that border Cameroon and Nigeria, these amazing apes are extremely shy and avoid human contact as much as possible. In fact, they're so elusive that spotting a Cross River Gorilla in the wild is incredibly rare. Unfortunately, these gorillas have been hunted for bushmeat, and this illegal poaching combined with more and more human settlements in their habitat has left their population in grave danger. Thankfully, environmentalists are working hard to build ingenious forest corridors so that the reclusive Cross River Gorilla can travel safely around the mountains in peace. South China Tiger this big cat is so rare that it hasn't actually been seen in the wild for over 25 years. Yet yeah, it's believed that the South China tiger is functionally extinct and they can only be seen in captivity. Even in zoos and wildlife sanctuaries, there are around 100 tigers left and experts worry that the species may never make a full recovery. This majestic beast used to wander the forests of Southeast China and it's even believed that this is the original tiger from which all other species of tigers evolved. So what happened to the mother of all tigers? Well, like many other endangered animals, humans began taking over more and more of their natural habitat, eliminating the ferocious feline in the process. It's thought that around 4,000 tigers lived in the wild back in the 1950s, but today no one has seen the South China tiger in the wild for decades. Hopefully, the magnificent creature can be rekindled in captivity. But as for now, the future of the first ever tiger is unclear. Have you ever seen any of these rare wild animals? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.